a group of campers decided to set up in the heart of a dense forest in Arizona. Everything was as normal as a night in the woods could be until they heard this. I don't know. That was a loud screaming. Joe, listen. Or like a woman or something. That was a that was a female screaming, Phil. They heard a deep scream that sounded like that of a woman, moment when they started recording. And while recording, they hear it again. Please, please, please. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Kind of fucking closer, man. Mm -mm. Oh my God, Phil, it sounds like something's being... Curiosity got the best of them, so they went to check it out. But as they got closer, an even louder scream pierced the air. This one closer, and even more intense. Oh my god, Phil, it sounds like somebody's being Dude, you need to fucking help that fucking person, man. Hey, it's frozen as fuck of it, dude. Phil, that sounds like fucking, like, some scary movie shit. Dude, fucking middle of the dude I have the biggest fucking revolver ever, dude. That's a fucking good. Fucking face. Dude, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's just... Dude, that sounds like some hundred ass sh**, dude. What happened to the other steel target? There's two. Wait, what the fuck There's is that? There's one right there on the ground. What the fuck is that? On the ground. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is what? That, right there. What the f*** is that? Dude, that's not normal. No. Please tell me you guys are fucking with me. Some claim it was a skinwalker, but if you look closely, there's something lurking behind the trees. While some viewers claimed it's just an owl, it has an eerie, humanoid-like form. The way it watches them from the shadows is enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. What do you think this is? Could this be the legendary creature? known as a skinwalker, known to mimic human voices, especially of people in distress, only to lure others deeper in the woods. TikTok user Creed was hiking through a dense forest and everything was peaceful until he spotted something strange. Right there, in the middle of the path, a bunny stood frozen, not moving a muscle. Curious, Creed stepped closer, and just then, the entire forest went silent. And that's when he heard it, a sound creeping from somewhere in the trees. Without hesitation, he turned around and sprinted away, heart pounding. The sound kept following, getting louder with each step he took. But the mystery remains. What was that sound? Some say it could have been a skinwalker, a creature known for luring people deeper into the woods, only for them to never be found again. But the sounds are like someone trying really hard to say, help me. Like they are tied and have something over their mouth. Did he do wrong by running away? Could there have been someone in need of help? Next up, we have YouTuber caught on tape who decided to investigate his own house after repeatedly hearing strange noises from his attic. Um, but since I've been back, nothing has changed. Hear that? I haven't been hearing uh, the noises outside as much. Um, you hear that? 
He explained how these sounds, loud thuds, screeching, and constant scratching, had been happening frequently, but this time they were louder and impossible to ignore. Since I've been back, most nights I've been hearing noises in my attic. And tonight, the noises have been the worst. As he ventured up, even his cat, usually curious, sat frozen in silence, visibly terrified. The closer he got to the attic, the louder the unsettling noises grew, filling the air with a palpable tension. Oh, I know you do change your chair. And I've been really on edge about even going up there at all because I've seen this thing too many times and I've been lucky too many times. He tried to stay composed, turning his camera around to catch every angle and you could almost hear the fear in his voice. Then, in a moment, his camera captured something. Hello? Hello? I think it's just... I think it's just a raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! A creature lurked there, and as soon as the camera focused on it, the being let out an ear-piercing scream. Shocked, the YouTuber bolted, not daring to look back. With the footage grainy and unclear, viewers have been left guessing. Was it an alien? A mutant? Whatever it was, the eerie sounds it made and the mystery of its appearance continue to haunt everyone who's seen the clip. This lady decides to go alone to the cabin she owns for some quiet time in the middle of the woods. During this seemingly normal night though, she is left sleepless after seeing this. Alexa, turn on the light. She started recording this because she was feeling unsafe, not knowing exactly what is behind the curtain and too scared to go see. Strange thumbing noises can even be heard from outside, like someone was walking around. The woman is creeped out at this point, not knowing what is outside. The figure continues showing itself to her, creeping the poor lady out. What could the figure be? And why isn't she calling someone? In this next encounter, a group of friends find an abandoned building that has all its doors and windows sealed shut. After much contemplation, they finally decide to record what's inside first before going in themselves. What they saw next terrified them. Flash is on. All right, let's take a look. Everything's in there. A figure is watching them from the dark, not moving or running, just watching. Is it just a wild animal who found a place to hide in or something else? These guys decided to go out for a hiking at night, but they encountered something terrifying. Whoa, stop. What was that? What was that? They continue walking around, thinking that the growl is from a bear nearby. Walking slowly and watching every direction, they anticipate and get ready for a bear encounter. Moments later, they finally realize that the growl was not from a bear. <laughs> That is a ground. It is a ground. Let's fall back up this way. They decide to make the right decision of immediately leaving after hearing whatever that was. Could that have been a strange growl coming from a nearby animal? 
a bear, or maybe a moose? How about a cryptid? Even if it wasn't a Bigfoot or any other cryptid, they were still in a lot of danger. This next video is of trail camera footage that captured a strange sight. The joints, or the legs of the creature, don't seem to resemble any animal. They are tiny compared to the torso. So, what exactly is this? A deformed creature, a more reclusive animal, or something more creepy? In this clip, we are brought to a channel named Jasco, which is handled by one guy who makes thrilling camping vlogs. However, he was not expecting this terrifying encounter. Are you still here with me? <laughs> the forest he went in is rumored to be New York's most haunted forest, with tales surrounding this place of people who went in and never came back. This is the kind of place he chose to film this video in. Let's continue. Hello? Bro, that was a voice. Someone just said, hey. Hello? But no answer. These kind of whispers or even shouts sometimes have been reported many times in that forest. People claiming they can even hear people they used to know, but who are no longer of this world. Are you still here? He's here. Oh my God, what are the chances? She is here. Okay. What is her, Diana? Rayma. His recorder he has with him, known to captures frequencies we cannot perceive, lets him know he is not alone. Who's over there? Who's back here? He notices that something is near the van unsure of what it is, he decides to go back to his camping van only to discover this. What the hell is that? Knocking on door. Oh, oh, I heard the sounds on the door of the van. Oh, fuck this, I gotta get in. Frightened and alone, Jasco turns on his van to relocate to a different spot. And as he is driving, unexpectedly, this happens. Ah, what the fuck? Yo, yo, yo. Guys, I swear to you, I swear to you, something was just standing in the fucking road. I don't know what it was. Guys, it was tall. It was dark. I, I... After the initial scare, he continues to travel down the road. And while he is speaking, a loud thud can be heard from the side of his van in like this direction or something. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. The video abruptly ends there, leaving us viewers to wonder who was after him, or perhaps what was after him. In this clip, we meet C.J. Faison, known for his intriguing camping videos. He plans to make things exciting by camping alone in his new van in Pine Barrens in New Jersey, a forest known to be a spot of hiding for criminals on the run. And because of that, what was initially just a camping video soon turned into a horror story. Man, this is... <laughs> Yo, this is like next level creepy right here. Feeling uneasy about being alone, CJ returns to his van for safety. However, this safety does not last long as he heard something lurking outside. Hello? After a few seconds of looking around his van camp, 
he turns around and spots this. What the? What is that? Try to zoom in on my camera. Okay, what the f Gathering his courage, CJ steps away from the van and heads toward a strange flashing light. But as he gets closer, Come the fuck, come on. That's somebody's flashlight. Hello? He realizes it's someone's flashlight, making him question whether he's truly alone, heightening the tension of the situation. Hello? As he runs back towards his camp, something claps behind him, either trying to scare him away or trying to draw him in deeper. <laughs> After the scary and random things happening to him, he begins to talk to himself to identify whether this was because of a stalker or ghost activity. CJ concludes that the situation feels less like paranormal activity and more like a human presence. And considering the forest's reputation to harbor criminals on the run, prioritizing safety is the best course of action. Trust your instincts. Ring cameras are our supposed guardians against the unknown, faithfully recording our surroundings day and night. But what happens when that constant vigilance unearths something unexplainable? Take a look at this eerie clip. This video from California in 2023 shows a ring camera view of a house at night. The street is empty and something strange crawls across the front door. It's hard to see clearly in the corner of the frame, but it looks like a spider. However, Upon closer inspection, the blood runs cold. Slowing down the video reveals the true source of the chills. The creature's body possesses an otherworldly shape, unlike any arachnid I've encountered in my life. No familiar number of legs, no discernible head, just a bizarre, unsettling form that defies explanation. Unsurprisingly, viewers are abuzz with speculation with Alien Visitor being a popular theory, considering the creature's bizarre anatomy. It's a theory that holds a strange kind of weight. So, I put it to you. What do you think lurks in the shadows beyond this ring camera's view? The search for Bigfoot, the legendary ape-like creature, continues to spark debate between believers and skeptics. This video from Canada might just put fuel to that fire. See that if they're moving? A hiker in the Canadian boreal forest captured footage of a strange dark shape across a lake. The video shows the lake with a black dot on the opposite side, likely the object that caught the hiker's attention. The dark figure appears to move across the landscape, occasionally bending down as if picking something up. While some viewers see a humanoid walk, it's difficult to discern details from this distance. The video has sparked discussion, with some claiming it's a Bigfoot sighting. However, without zooming in or further evidence, it's impossible to draw definitive conclusions. Notably, the hiker doesn't zoom in on the creature leaving some viewers questioning the video's authenticity. Extinction is a harsh reality, with many animals like the wolf vanishing from Japan since the early 1900s. But a 2018 video captured in the Okuchichibu Mountains might offer a glimmer of hope.
Listen closely. This motion-sensitive trail camera footage from 2018 captures a scene in Japan's Okuchichibu Mountains. As the video begins, we see a couple of deer sprinting through the woods. But what's intriguing is the background noise. A howl that sounds eerily similar to a wolf. Wolves have been declared extinct in Japan since the early 1900s. However, independent researcher Hiroshi Yagi, dedicated to proving the existence of the Japanese wolf, analyzed audio samples from this video and found a strong resemblance to a wolf howl. This howl was captured on one of the 70 motion-sensitive cameras Yagi and his non-profit organization have set up in a mountainous region bordering several prefectures. Now, there's a chance it could be a dog howling in the wild, which can sound similar to wolves. The deer running could be spooked by this sound. But if it's not a dog, then this video opens up the exciting possibility that wolves might still exist in Japan. Wouldn't that be amazing? Anyone else get creeped out by diving in hazy water? Even the best gear can't save you from limited visibility, leaving you to imagine what might be lurking just out of sight. This video captures that feeling perfectly. See what I mean? This deep sea footage takes us into a kelp forest with seriously low visibility. The towering kelp plants create an eerie, almost alien scene. But listen closely. A deep, almost buzzing noise echoes in the distance. The diver frantically scans their surroundings, but all they see are kelp and a few fish. Yet the unsettling sound persists. We know sound travels faster underwater, and a low, powerful hum like that often suggests a giant creature. Whales come to mind, but they typically avoid kelp forests. So what could be making this noise? It's enough to send shivers down your spine. Cave exploration. Some folks love it. But me, not a chance. And videos like this definitely don't help my case. Let's take a look. What the fuck is that? Oh shit! Go, 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 go. Come on, Missy! Come on, Missy! This video comes from Australia and features a hiker and his dog exploring a newly discovered cave entrance in a forest. Right from the start, the cave has an unsettling vibe. Dark, damp, and seriously creepy, the hiker cautiously enters with his camera and flashlight, slowly navigating the passage. He eventually reaches a dead end, where some bats cling nervously to the ceiling. After backtracking, he explores another section of the cave. As he walks deeper, a strange sound echoes in the distance, making him pause and look at his dog with confusion. He continues forward, then freezes. In the inky blackness of a side passage, a tall figure stands motionless. Confusion quickly turns to sheer terror, and the hiker bolts out of the cave with his dog at his heels. The video ends abruptly, leaving us with more questions than answers. Seriously, why would anyone venture into a cave like that? Well, let's just say, this hiker learned a valuable lesson. Some things are best left undisturbed. Na Nature loves throwing surprises our way. Some are breathtakingly beautiful. While others, well, let's just say they can be downright terrifying. Check out this next one. Imagine taking a tumble into this by accident. This video comes from Alaska, 
where a mountain climber encountered a rather unusual puddle on a glacier climb. The video opens with a stunning view of the mountain peak, but then the focus shifts to a seemingly ordinary puddle. That's when things get interesting. As the climber plunges their ice axe into the water, the true depth of the puddle becomes apparent. It's massive, way deeper than the ice tool suggests. The distorted view from the icy water makes it hard to tell exactly how deep it goes, but it's a safe bet it's well beyond 40 or 50 feet. Speaking of safety, also, this is definitely not your personal mountain spring. Glacier meltwater can trap bacteria and other nasty stuff, making it a recipe for disaster. So remember when you're out exploring, keep an eye out for these hidden abysses. Stick to flowing water sources for a refreshing and, more importantly, safe drink. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity, and this next video perfectly illustrates that. Let's see what you think, brave or foolish. This video from Japan shows a couple having a close encounter on a partially frozen lake. They're casually kayaking when a massive whale breaches the surface, just inches away from their kayak. The whale takes a quick breath before submerging again. While it was undoubtedly a close call, the couple's reaction is what has people talking. Their facial expressions seem nonchalant, almost as if this happens to them all the time. Now, it takes some serious guts to be kayaking on a partially frozen lake in the first place. But encountering a whale that close and staying so calm, I don't know if it's bravery or something else entirely. Imagine taking a relaxing hike in the woods, enjoying the fresh air and scenery. Then, out of nowhere, you hear a strange metallic clanging coming from the bushes. That's exactly what happened to this couple on their hike. <laughs> Intrigued, right? This video comes from a group of hikers exploring a forest when they stumbled upon a mysterious, rhythmic sound. In the video, we see them cautiously approaching the source of the noise. As they get closer, the ground starts to tremble slightly, and nearby branches shake violently. They finally reach the culprit, two manhole covers. But what's happening? The covers are perfectly synchronized, rapidly opening and slamming shut, creating that strange clanging sound. It almost seems like they're alive. Well, fear not. There's a perfectly logical explanation. The rhythmic clanging is likely caused by a pressure difference between the atmosphere and the tunnels below. Imagine trapped air being pushed out by rising water, causing the manhole covers to pop open and slam shut repeatedly. So, the next time you hear a strange sound on your hike, don't jump to conclusions. It might just be a case of physics having a bit of fun. Ever heard of a fish with a legendary connection to earthquakes? Well, if you didn't, this next clip is for you. This giant you see here is the oarfish, a fascinating creature known for its incredible length. As you saw, they can grow up to 8 meters, 26 feet. These deep sea dwellers are rarely seen near the surface, but some cultures believe their appearance foretells earthquakes. The video captures a particularly impressive specimen, possibly the longest ever recorded. But is there any truth to the earthquake connection? The link stems from a cluster of oarfish sightings in Japan from 2009-2010, followed by the devastating 2011 Fukushima earthquake and tsunami. 
This led some to believe the oarfish were a harbinger of disaster. However, there's no scientific evidence to support this. While oarfish may be sensitive to changes in their environment, a connection to earthquakes remains unproven. Still, you can't deny the oarfish's captivating presence. Imagine encountering this behemoth in the ocean. It's no wonder sailors of old spun tales of sea monsters. There's a reason they say, don't mess with nature. And this video from the Amazon rainforest is a prime example. <laughs> Shit. This scary footage shows a tourist in the Amazon doing something incredibly dangerous, poking in a swamp with a stick. In a flash, a giant anaconda lunges out of the water, jaws wide open. Luckily, the tourist reacts quickly and narrowly avoids the attack, retreating just in time. This video is a chilling reminder of why respecting wildlife is crucial. Just a split second slower, and things could have ended very differently. The nervous laughter at the end says it all. A close call that serves as a valuable lesson. When we're in nature, it's important to remember that wild animals are unpredictable. Always admire them from a safe distance and avoid anything that could provoke them. Mother Nature can be a force to be reckoned with. And this dust storm in Mumbai, India is a powerful reminder of that. Oh, shit! This video, captured by an office worker, shows the raw power of a fierce dust storm engulfing Mumbai. The atmosphere is thick with dust, and strong winds are whipping debris around. Then, in a shocking moment, a large under-construction billboard trembles violently before collapsing to the ground with a loud bang. Oh, shit! The cameraman's reaction perfectly captures the shock and terror of the scene. The news behind this video is even more devastating. This incident tragically caused multiple deaths and injuries. Dust storms are uncommon in India, and many structures simply aren't built to withstand them. Hopefully, this event will prompt the government to take steps to improve safety regulations for such situations. There's a popular theory that ghosts can't physically interact with the living because they're just energy imprints. But videos like this one challenge that idea. <laughs> this video, uploaded to Reddit by user usual 1277, shows them exploring an abandoned hospital. Right from the start, the atmosphere is creepy, debris scattered everywhere, damaged walls, and missing floors. As the cameraman pans the camera down a hallway, something makes them abruptly stop and run out of frame, ending the video. Did you notice that? Slowing down and zooming in around the 8 second mark, some viewers believe they've spotted a strange figure. It has a human-like body shape, but with a ghostly white face. If it is a figure, the way it peeks out and seems to stare at the camera is definitely unsettling. Of course, the question remains, ghost or elaborate prank? It's hard to say for sure. Personally, I wouldn't dress up as a ghost to scare my friends in a creepy place like that. Way too unsettling for me. If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. This next video from a forest safari crew is a chilling reminder of why respecting wild animals is crucial. Here's why they're called wild. Okay. 
leopard jumps onto the vehicle to grab Richard. Hey, go away, Why? This video shows a filming crew on a safari following a leopard. The scene takes a frightening turn as the leopard becomes entangled with a group of hyenas. The hyenas harass the leopard, forcing it to climb a tree to escape. Unfortunately, the crew continues filming even as the leopard seeks refuge in the tree. This close proximity seems to stress the already agitated animal. In a panic, the leopard leaps down from the tree and charges directly towards the camera crew's jeep. The crew reacts quickly, scrambling back into the vehicle. Thankfully, the leopard doesn't attack, but its terrifying charge serves as a stark warning. This close call is a clear reminder to always maintain a safe distance from wild animals. I bet this crew definitely learned a valuable lesson. Respect the power and unpredictability of wildlife. The debate about aliens rages on, and this strange video from Florida certainly adds fuel to the fire. But are aliens really throwing a rave? Let's take a look. On January 8th, 2024, a homeowner in Florida captured a bizarre nighttime phenomenon on camera. The video shows beams of green light shooting up into the sky, illuminating the clouds and creating a dramatic light show like never seen before. Speculation ran wild, with some suggesting an alien light show. However, the truth is a bit more down to earth. My internet sleuthing revealed this was likely an experiment by scientists. They were testing a powerful laser's ability to manipulate weather patterns, specifically targeting premature thunderclouds. While the laser light show might seem like something out of a science fiction movie, the potential implications are quite real. Imagine this technology being used to control weather, creating artificial droughts or triggering rain at will. Pretty crazy stuff, right? Who knew an office chair could be so explosive? This video from a Chinese office proves there's more to chair failure than just a squeaky wheel. This security camera footage from China captures a truly bizarre office incident. We see employees working diligently at their desks. Suddenly, one person gets up and walks away. Three seconds later, their chair erupts upwards like a rocket launching off the ground. It slams into the ceiling before crashing back down. Needless to say, the other office workers are just as shocked as we are. So what caused this office chair to go rogue? Apparently, the culprit is a cheap, counterfeit gas cylinder. These cut-rate cylinders are often filled with the wrong gas to save money. The problem is, this gas can compress violently, causing the chair to explode upwards with enough force to injure or even impale someone. While this video might be funny at first glance, the potential consequences are no laughing matter. Ever heard of the Kraken? that legendary sea monster from old tales. Well, meet its real-life relative, the giant squid. <laughs> this isn't a scene from a movie, but actual footage captured by Filipino fishermen. They hauled in a whopper, a colossal white squid unlike anything most of us have ever seen. Just look at how it writhes around in the trap. It's enormous. While impressive, this isn't quite the Kraken of legend. But it's certainly easy to see how these giant squid might have inspired those stories. Scientists believe they can grow up to two or three times the size of the one in the video, thanks to a process called deep sea gigantism. Imagine encountering something this big in the ocean. No wonder people have been fascinated and maybe a little scared of these creatures for centuries. Art imitates life, and life imitates art. Until now, 
I thought this didn't apply to science fiction or horror movies. They seemed like the work of an overly imaginative bunch of people, but after watching this clip, I'm seriously doubting that. I don't know where art ends and reality begins. It's happening. A couple is driving through what they claim is somewhere near Niagara Falls. See all these people? They seem to be fr It's as if somebody yelled statue and people froze in whatever position they were in. This scene is straight out of a horror flick. If I were in that car, I'd lose my marbles. This just freaks me out. I really hope this is some kind of act or silent protest, and that all these people are voluntarily standing still. If not, I have no logical explanation for this. But one thing's for sure, I'm not going to Niagara Falls anytime soon. What is the one thing you look for the most when you're on vacation? For me, it's peace. I want to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life and enjoy some quality solitude. Well, this next clip might make that peace a distant dream. This person is showing off their Airbnb booking. Looks great, doesn't it? Cozy bed, nice interiors, and furniture. A beautiful bathtub, and plenty of wardrobe space for your belongings. But wait, there's a dark twist. Hidden inside one of those wardrobes is a secret chamber. And it's not just a small space. It's big enough for a few people to walk around and possibly stalk the occupants. But that's not all. This secret chamber leads to another hidden room, a full-size room. It gives off serious serial killer vibes. Why would someone construct such a space and then rent it out? What secrets is the owner hiding? This gives me a very bad feeling. Next time you're on vacation, make sure to thoroughly check your room. You never know what might be lurking behind those walls. Let's raise the horror quotient with this bizarre and chilling video. This person is out in the wild at night. You can hear a river flowing nearby, and the only light comes from the camera or a flashlight. At first, nothing seems out of place. But as they pan the camera around, they spot something unsettling. It looks like a man sitting on the riverbank. But what would someone be doing there at this time, in the pitch black, with no light? He seems completely unfazed by the person recording him. He turns slightly to acknowledge the camera, but with no significant reaction. Now, here's where it gets terrifying. Look closely, he's not wearing any clothes. His skin looks bleached, almost white, as if burned or decomposed. And his face, just below his eyes. There's something reflecting the light very brightly. Our person tries to get closer. And then the man slowly slips into the water and disappears. Who was that? Or what was that? Definitely not a living person? Is this evidence of the underworld? Was that a corpse caught between life and death? The eerie calm of this video really creeps me out. There's so much we don't know about our reality. What if that thing had attacked our cameraman? It's beyond me why people take such risks in life. Speaking of life and death, our next clip shows just how fragile and unpredictable life can be. One moment you're laughing and enjoying time with friends, and the next, it's all over. Fair warning, this clip ends in tragedy. These guys seem to be somewhere in the wild. Judging by their attire, they might be construction workers. There's a bear just outside their cabin, and their dog is trying to chase it away. The men are laughing completely unaware of the danger they're in. 
А что меня? Сейчас она Я ему поймает. Watch closely. Another bear appears, then another. That's three full-grown bears. Yet our men still don't take it seriously, or take any precautions. Suddenly, the biggest bear of them all attacks, and the clip ends there. Tragically, it was reported that they didn't make it. There are a lot of lessons here for all of us. First, stay away from places where you might encounter wild animals. Second, if you ever do, treat them with the utmost respect and caution. Third, protect nature and stop encroaching on wild spaces. The bear acted on instinct. It's these men who lost their survival instinct. So remember to respect the wild and always take caution. We've seen a lot of weird and bizarre stuff on this channel, but I don't remember coming across a haunted Alexa until now. Yes, we're about to witness a haunted Alexa. This video comes from a 20-year-old man who isn't religious and doesn't believe in ghosts or spirits. But even he agrees there's some strange energy in his house. While he was doing laundry in his living room, his Alexa started playing old songs at a low volume in the bedroom. He doesn't listen to these kinds of songs at all. So, two questions. One, why is Alexa playing these songs? Two, who instructed Alexa to play them? There's no one in the room. He also claims this isn't the first weird experience he's had. He's seen things move by themselves and heard unexplainable crashing sounds. Here's a twist you didn't see coming. Our man claims all of this started after his girlfriend brought home two old dolls. You can see them there, the ones in the gold box. So, could these dolls really be haunted? If they can make Alexa play songs, what else can they do? I'm afraid I'll develop pediophobia if I see any more of these haunted doll videos. For those who don't know, pediophobia is the fear of dolls. What's more dangerous, haunted dolls or the fear of haunted dolls? If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Our next clip is another reason why you shouldn't venture out to unknown abandoned places at night. Esto pasó ayer en Barquisimeto, ¿qué creen ustedes que pueda haber sido? No... Here we have some bikers who've captured something very weird and creepy. What is that? Is it a person? A life-size statue? And what's with that bizarre posture? Wait, look closely. The clothes are moving with the wind. So, is this a real person just frozen there? And where exactly are they? What are these bikers doing there at this time? Do they know what that is? If not, why is there no panic among them? This clip is bizarre in so many ways. I just hope our bikers made it out safe. Next up is a clip about one of the most discussed, debated, and controversial creatures ever, Bigfoot. The Bigfoot conspiracy just never seems to go away. Every time we think we've seen it all, another video surfaces to stir up the whole debate. What the hell? What is that? Here we have two hikers trying to find the perfect spot to camp. They're excited about their location, thinking it's an ideal spot. But then, they see something walking nearby. It's an all-black humanoid bipedal figure. Here's the weird part. The creature goes and hides behind a tree, almost like it knows it doesn't want to be seen. Our hikers, not wanting to take any risks, decide to get out of there quickly. So what do you think? Is this real footage of Bigfoot? Or is it an elaborate setup for views and fame? I'm on the fence about this one. There isn't enough evidence to say if it's real or not. Let us know what you think about this latest Bigfoot footage. From one conspiracy that never goes away to another. 
unknown flying objects, or as they're now called, unknown aerial phenomenon. I got this recliner. My neck would be broke right now. <laughs> Damn. Here's a man recording a bright, flashy object moving in the sky. It's twinkling, and there's no sound. It's quite high up. All we can see is a flashing dot of light. After a while, another one appears, moving from the opposite direction. Now we have two of them moving in the same direction. So what are these? Can we attribute their source to something extraterrestrial, or is there a simpler, more earthly explanation? Could they just be satellites in high Earth orbit, and our cameraman, not knowing much about it, is confusing them for something else? There isn't enough material here to say conclusively one way or another. One thing's for sure, we're not seeing shooting stars. We're seeing something real. We just don't know exactly what it is. Our next clip is a stark reminder of how unpredictable life can be. You can be doing nothing wrong and still end up in a freak accident. This video is from inside a public transport bus. Everything seems normal. Suddenly, a deer comes crashing through the front. Glass is flying everywhere, and the commuter in the white shirt takes the brunt of it as the deer flies right at him. The deer is confused and hurt, and the commuter instinctively tries to kick it away. No one can plan or prepare for such an event. Let's see the footage from the front. It's just a normal road, other vehicles passing by. Our bus goes past the signal, and from the side, a deer comes running and jumps directly into the front glass of the bus. Look at the speed and force with which the deer impacts the glass. It's surprising it wasn't hurt more. This could have ended badly for so many. The deer could have died on impact. The commuter could have been seriously injured if the deer had hit him directly a few seconds earlier, and the deer could have hit the driver causing the driver to lose control and potentially tumble the bus, leaving everyone injured, including people in nearby vehicles. These people were incredibly lucky. It's a reminder that life is fragile and unpredictable. Things can change anytime without warning, so cherish every moment of your life. I really want to know what's happening in this next clip, because I have no explanation for it. And play that, play that right now if you're here with me right now. Thank you. This man is communicating with a musical toy of some sort. He asks the instrument to play music if it is with him right now, and it plays. Next, he asks if it's a male. No response. Are you a male or female? Play that if you are a male. Are you a female? Thank you. Then he asks if it's a female, and it plays the music again. So, what's happening here? Is he really communicating with some sort of spirit that can only communicate through this instrument? How many of you remember the first season of Stranger Things? You remember Will communicating with his mom using the lights in the house. Well, does our world have an upside down too? I'm really baffled by this. If you have an explanation, let us know what it is. If you have an attic in your house, first install lights and a camera there. We've seen a lot of attic videos recently that have left us shivering. This person is trying to record something in the attic. What is that, little aliens? At first glance, they're creepy. But on closer inspection, they're not extraterrestrial. These are obviously some kind of birds that have nested in the attic. The way they stand and their eyes give an illusion of something otherworldly. 
I'm relieved this attic video didn't terrify us like the others. But seriously, take my advice and install lights and a camera in your attic. You never know what you might find up there. Mother Nature can be as beautiful as she is terrifying. We've all enjoyed a stunning sunset on the beach or a refreshing drizzle on a hot day. That's nature being nurturing, but she also has a fury that's beyond terrifying. <laughs> Look at this storm. Look at that fury. If those strong winds can do that to a tree, imagine what they could do to a person standing there. They'd go flying. I can't get over this. As terrifying as it is, it's also fascinating. We've built a modern world that protects us from nature's fury to a large extent. But imagine what our ancestors had to endure. Life was all about survival. Today, we take our world for granted. But the world we've built is like a house of cards. Electricity, mobile phones, the internet, all of these could come crumbling down at any time. We need to learn and teach our kids how to survive in nature just in case. We've seen some bizarre stuff on this channel, but here's one I never thought I'd see. This clip is from Vashon Island. What bizarre sight are we about to witness on an island? Well this, yes, that is real. A tree has grown around an abandoned bike, engulfing and swallowing half of it, leaving the other half for us to see and admire. Our human lives are short, living moment to moment. But for the universe, things happen on a much larger scale, over years, decades, centuries, and millennia. Imagine a small sapling growing. Some kid, a few decades or half a century ago, left their bike there for some reason. The sapling grew around the bike initially, and over the years, it slowly lifted the bike a few feet above the ground as it grew. How fascinating would it have been if we had a time-lapse video of this? Here's some nightmarish stuff. All those alien movies with weird and terrifying creatures eating other living things. They send chills down your spine. Well, they're not always the product of some creative director's imagination. More often than not, they're inspired by real-life creatures that most people wouldn't normally see. Here's one such creature. This is a cuttlefish. Look at how it shoots its tentacles out and pulls its prey in. Absolutely terrifying. Now, imagine that fish being 10 or 15 feet long and you're the prey. I need to make a mental note. Never do something as stupid as exploring the ocean. If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. We've got plenty of ghost videos on this channel, and after a few hundred, you get an idea of where most ghosts are caught on camera, usually in dark, wild, abandoned places. But until now, I've never come across a ghost video from a gym in broad daylight. Well, there's a first time for everything. Okay. This man is exercising in a gym. He's the only one there. Weird things start happening, but he doesn't notice them at first. See those ropes rocking back and forth even though nobody touched them, and then the light goes off in the stairway. Next, the medicine ball rolls over by itself. This spooks our man. He grabs his things to get out of there, but the ball rolls even further. As he's trying to make his way out, something pulls him by his legs and drags him across the floor. This is absolutely terrifying. Imagine the power it must take to lift and drag a person by the leg. This doesn't look staged at all. 
That man had nothing attached to him like strings to fake this. Whatever happened here is real. The only question is what? How comfortable are you now going to the gym and working out by yourself? Our world is packed with mysteries. Bermuda Triangle, ghosts, aliens, Loch Ness Monster, the list goes on. Just when we think the Bigfoot legend is fading, a new video surfaces to reignite the debate. Here's the latest one. A trucker is driving through the countryside at night, his truck's headlights cutting through the darkness. It looks like he's passing a work site, with trees lining both sides of the road and scattered equipment and sheds. As the truck turns, the dashcam captures something eerie. I doubt the driver even noticed. Focus on the center of the screen between those trees. Is that a large Sasquatch or something even more sinister? The video claims it's Bigfoot, but I'm not convinced. This thing looks way scarier. Encountering a Bigfoot is terrifying, sure, but this... This is next level horror, that face. That body, it's more like an evil ghost than Bigfoot. Regardless, here's another clip to add to the thousands that keep the Bigfoot mystery alive. Talking of sinister things, what do you think hell would look like? There's no accurate description, and for good reason. If someone provided a first-hand account of hell, two things would be certain. One, they've returned from the dead. Two, they were such a horrible human being that they ended up in hell. While the second seems plausible, the first is highly unlikely. But here's a clip that might come close to depicting what hell could look like. I'm not sure where this place is, but to me, this is what hell would look like, a place where time stands still, and you stare into the abyss of nothingness. Those chains serve as a constant reminder that you are bound to suffer in this void for eternity. The light at the end of the tunnel teases you with the possibility of breaking free, but you can't escape these shackles. This hopeless hope only aggravates the misery. Yes, this is what hell will be. It won't consist of monsters and cruel punishments. It will be a torment where you are left to ponder all your evil deeds for eternity. Tell me there's something worse than this. I'll wait. Speaking of hell, have you ever wondered if the descriptions of hell in religious scriptures are true? The underworld a deep pit where the unredeemed dead and the evil spirits of the damned are left to torment for eternity. While I can't say for sure, here's a clip that might make you wonder if it could be. So, this person seems to think there's something important to show here. Why else would he be recording an underpass on a snowy night and filming a car coming out of the tunnel? Now, he's heading towards a house. Snow everywhere. He approaches a manhole. Okay, what are those sounds? I have no answer for what those sounds are, and that's what makes this so creepy. What could be in those manholes making such eerie noises? I've never encountered anything like this before. Is this the real life version of it? Is there a Pennywise living in those sewers? If you encountered this, would you dare investigate? What do you think? Is the line between literature and reality blurring? Is Stephen King the creator? Or are these noises from the dreaded underworld?
While we're on the topic of the undead in movies, what are your views on zombies? Could zombies be real? While you ponder that, here's a video that might make you wonder if they could be. This was caught on a friend's trail cam on a ranch on private property. Now tell me that isn't a zombie. Look at it walk. I can't imagine a living person moving like that. And look at its torso and those thin limbs. Even in this grainy video, it looks half dead. But the most terrifying part is that it seems to be heading somewhere with a purpose. I just hope nobody crossed its path and it walked away into eternity. How many of us can say we came face to face with a mountain lion and came out unscathed? Well, this reporter did, and she didn't even realize it. Coming up to our live shot, I think it's a dog. I'm not sure, um, but uh, anyway. <laughs> this reporter is live on the scene, covering flooding from Spring Lake, Utah County, in the middle of the night. During the broadcast, she stops and says a dog just walked in. That's no dog, lady. That's a mountain lion. She's continuing to report as the lion casually strolls around her. She has no idea how close she came to danger. I hope that if I ever find myself in danger, I'm as lucky as this woman was. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. If there was ever any doubt that we're living in a simulation, this video might put that question to rest. Video that thing, Max. I am, I got it. Are it you videoing living. it? Yeah, hold on. It is just sitting there. Alan, baby, watch the road. A couple is driving on a highway, and the man excitedly spots something in the sky and urges the woman to record it. What is it? Well, it looks like a glitch in the Matrix. You see this plane just motionless, hovering in midair. Tell me that isn't a glitch in the Matrix. And listen to the man. He says, another plane just sitting in the sky. Another plane just sitting in the sky. Hold on, watch the man. I got it, man. Are you freaking kidding me? That thing is just sitting there. So, this is the second plane he's seen like this. This is baffling. Is there any logical explanation for this? I don't think this couple faked it. Could it be an illusion caused by the motion of the car and the plane? Unlikely, but possible. If this truly is a glitch in the Matrix, it could explain a lot of things we see on this channel. All could make sense if we're living in a Matrix. Next up, is one of nature's majestic creatures giving us an up-close look. Get off of my car! Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. Go! Do, do I... What do I do? These women in downtown Los Angeles had the time of their lives when a red-tailed hawk landed on the hood of the car and refused to leave for over 15 minutes. In those 15 minutes, it gave us an intimate view of its grandeur. Just look at this creature, so majestic and beautiful. Look at it staring right at the camera. It almost feels like it knows what you're thinking. The women drive around with it on the hood, trying various ways to get it off, but this hawk seems determined. It needs a ride to wherever it's going, and nothing can change its mind. The women even call their friends for advice but nothing helps. All we can do is admire its beauty. Okay, finally, there it goes. Our next clip is probably from India, as the man is speaking in Hindi and humming an Indian song. But what he captures is far from a Bollywood song or dance. It's something that will make you think twice before venturing into the wild alone. Our man is in a happy-go-lucky mood, walking through a stream in the jungle. 
It looks like he's all by himself. Then he hears a strange sound, pans his camera around, and captures this. I've never heard of Bigfoot sightings in India. Sure, there are claims of Yedis in the Himalayas, but this is a rainforest. So seriously, what was that? They do have black bears, but bears don't hide and stalk you. Whatever it was, it was clearly stalking him. And when he spotted it, it tried to hide behind a tree. From what we could see, it felt like we captured a Sasquatch on camera. True to its nature, it was hiding and didn't want to be seen. Yes, there's always the possibility that it was a human in a costume, and this was all staged. But where's the fun in that? Our next footage is one of the most convincing pieces of evidence I've come across after watching thousands of clips on this channel about the existence of ghosts and spirits. This video is claimed to be from a Malaysian driving school. This couple seem to be wandering around the school after dark. They go into the building, checking for something. Nobody seems to be in the building apart from them. Then they walk to another building, a little farther away, and go into what looks like a conference room. It has a few long tables and many chairs. After talking for some time, the guy leaves the girl and goes to another room to get something. This is when the spooky stuff starts happening. See that door. There's nobody in the room apart from the guy. Yet the door is closing and stops halfway as he turns around to see what's happening. He's spooked but doesn't think much of it. Then things escalate. The three computers in the room turn on by themselves. Now our guy is starting to panic. The computers then turn off. After he has left, one of the sofas moves. Then the door slams shut, and the lights go off. Okay, how do you explain that? This definitely isn't a staged video. One if it is staged. The production value is on par with a movie studio. They'd have to rent out the entire facility, which would be mighty expensive. And this looked like one continuous shot, not a collection of clips. So, how did they pull off chairs and tables flying in one continuous shot? This is real, and to me, this is one of the most credible videos I've come across. Any doubt I had about the existence of the supernatural vanished with just this one video. If you feel otherwise, change my mind. I'm all ears. This next video is a sight to behold and comes from Kenya. What you're seeing here isn't a bunch of pink helium balloons floating in the air. No, not at all. These are thousands of flamingos taking flight from a beach. A blanket of flamingos, if you will. Isn't this just stunning? Now, imagine how our planet looked 10,000 years ago, or even 50,000 years ago. What I mean is, imagine our world without human interference since the Industrial Revolution. How beautiful our planet must have been. Well, we can only wonder until someone invents a time machine. Just as we were discussing how humans have interfered with the natural world, this next video perfectly illustrates that point. These men are out on a walk with their dog when they spot a coyote following them. This is one bold coyote. No matter what they do, it just doesn't seem to go away. It keeps following them, unfazed by their dog's continuous barking. There are two ways to interpret this. One, you might dismiss it as a brave coyote chasing something for no reason. Two, you can see it for what it truly is. 
a sign of human encroachment into wild spaces. These wild animals have nowhere else to go but into our safe spaces. There's nothing left for them to hunt in the areas where they once found ample food. This coyote has ventured into town in search of sustenance. Now imagine if these men were not adults, but children. How differently the story might have ended. Newspaper headlines could read, Coyote attacks two boys and drags their dog away. We are the dominant species on this planet, and we have a responsibility to it. Soon, many of these species will go extinct. These animals play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. Their absence will be felt without the majority of predators. We will be left to contend with a massive, uncontrolled population of rodents. It's high time we learn our lesson. If there's any place where we should expect to see a lot of ghost videos, it would be the hospital. It's logical to think that a place where death is commonplace and a daily occurrence would be teeming with ghosts. Add to that the fact that most hospitals are full of cameras and you'd expect a treasure trove of ghost footage. But that just doesn't seem to be the case. We only find a handful of ghost videos coming out of hospitals. However, here is a rare video from a hospital. Do you see that figure lurking in the room, playing hide and seek with our cameraman? That is no human being. For starters, it is translucent. And as it comes out, you can see the complete structure. So, is this what ghosts and spirits are? Translucent humanoid figures roaming the hallways for no reason? The aspect I find most astonishing about ghosts and spirits is why do we see so few of them? Considering the fact that more people have died in history than are alive today, our world should be full of ghosts and spirits. Yet, we only catch a glimpse every now and then. So just curious, what do you think is the criteria for a person to become a ghost after they are dead? Let us know in the comments. If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. Next up is a strange phenomenon that I'm not sure how to categorize. It could be natural, supernatural, or otherworldly. I have no idea. Let's get right into it. The sun is not up there, so where's the light coming from? The, so the light came from the rocket? Oh, like this, that, like, it, like, that's not even... It's getting brighter, too, like it's a portal into us or something. That's what it looks like. What is this strange blue light in the sky? It could be sun rays passing through the clouds, but it's a clear sky with very few clouds. If it were sunlight, the whole sky should be illuminated with that strange blue hue. Also, the lady recording says the sun isn't out yet. She thinks it might be the tail smoke of some kind of rocket, or perhaps a portal of some sort opening up in the heavens. What do you think it is? I won't rule out otherworldly sources. Just consider this. There are 100 to 400 billion stars in our galaxy alone, and probably just as many planets. And beyond that, there are 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe. The idea that ours is the only planet with life? I'm not buying it. There is life out there. The only question is, are they here? Here's a scene straight out of a fantasy movie, but it's real. This person is swimming in bioluminescent water. I'm not sure why the water is bioluminescent, but it's magical to look at. The only thing missing is a crescent moon and stars in the background. Enough said. Let's just take a moment to enjoy this. There's a fascinating theory 
that life on Earth might have hitched a ride on meteors and first developed in our oceans. And when you see the kind of incredible life forms lurking beneath the waves, you can't help but think there's some truth to it. Check out this jaw-dropping creature. If I told you this clip was from a science fiction movie, just look at it. Where do I even start? The stunning blue color, the way it glows, that long, luminous tail. Can we even call it a tail? Whatever it is, it's mesmerizing. Mother Nature really outdid herself with this one. The diversity and beauty of ocean life are simply unmatched. It's no wonder James Cameron was inspired to create an entire franchise based on the creatures he discovered in the ocean's depths. So next time someone tells you we might have alien origins, just show them this video and watch their jaws drop. What was the first living creature to time travel? It was Einstein on October 26, 1985. No, not Albert Einstein the scientist, Einstein the dog from the 1985 movie, Back to the Future. If you're a fan of that film, you'll appreciate a bit of creative liberty. Our next video also features a dog, but what it does is even crazier than movie time travel. It teleports on camera. Check this out. Did you see that? Watch closely. Focus on where the dog disappears behind the tree and where it reappears. Now tell me that isn't the first living creature to teleport, because I can't think of any other logical explanation. Also, notice how the dog looks kind of startled after it reappears, like it knows something weird just happened. If that dog didn't teleport, then we might be living in a simulation and that was a glitch in the matrix. Just like the earlier plane video we saw. Deja vu? Next up, we have a real life miniature monster from the depths of the ocean, the alligator snapping turtle. Oh, oh, oh it's quick. Don't let its size fool you. When I say miniature monster, I mean it. This little guy is just a baby, but look at those ferocious reflexes and those tough, gnarly scales. Still not convinced it's a beast. Imagine this tiny terror growing up to 250 pounds. Now let's take it up a notch. Imagine it at a whopping 450 pounds. That's the size of the largest alligator snapping turtle ever recorded. Picture what a 450-pound turtle with that kind of ferocity could do to you. You'd be turtle chow in no time flat. There's a reason I always say, stay away from the ocean. My motto, dry and safe, folks. We seem to be encountering a lot of glitches in the Matrix today. The code must be corrupt, going haywire all over the place. Watch this. See that old man? Where did he come from? He was nowhere to be seen. And suddenly, he pops out of thin air on a highway. With vehicles moving that fast, there's no way he was just crossing the road and got lost in the bright lights. Or was he beamed up by Scotty, if you know what I mean. Imagine what could have happened if the car had run over him and this wasn't recorded on the dash cam. Scary to even think about. What do you think? Is this a glitch in the matrix or something even stranger? Earlier, we had someone swimming in bioluminescent water. Now, we have someone walking in it. Does anyone know where this is? I'd be willing to break my dry and safe rule to try this just once. It looks absolutely magical, almost hallucinatory. 
There's something incredibly mesmerizing and oddly satisfying about it. Imagine the sensation of walking through a glowing, sparkling pathway, like stepping into a real-life fantasy. I can't be the only one who thinks this would be an unforgettable experience, right? I've seen a lot of scary stuff on this channel. Strange creatures, wild animals, ghosts, aliens, monsters. But I never thought cats would make it to the top of the scariest animals list. Watch this. This cat is chomping on a snake alive. No fear of getting bitten. No intention of killing it first. It just slowly munches on the snake bit by bit while the snake tries desperately to get away. It never had a chance. This cat is a psycho and I'll never feel safe around cats again. Is there a word for the fear of cats? Whatever that word is, I'm suffering from it. Let's shift gears and delve into something a little unsettling. This clip takes us to a hospital in Mexico during a quiet night shift. Uh, eating? Eating? It's 3.25 in the morning and a doctor working the night shift starts hearing strange noises. He decides to record what's happening. In the footage, watch closely as a medical box in the corner, seemingly untouched, suddenly topples over. There's no one visible in the room, yet the box falls as if pulled by an unseen force. The doctor, while clearly startled, remains somewhat composed. The unexplained activity doesn't stop there. Down the hallway, a medical trolley begins to move on its own. The video clearly shows no one pushing it. The doctor cautiously investigates, checking behind curtains and every nook and cranny. Every chair is empty, every space devoid of a human presence. He returns to his starting point and the trolley rolls again. This footage is undeniably eerie, the unexplained movement, the unsettling silence. It's hard to explain with logic alone. Are we witnessing something supernatural? Hospitals, with their association with life and death, are often seen as gateways to the unknown. Let's hope none of us ever encounter such activity on our own night shifts. Prepare for a glitch in the natural world. This video features a group of caterpillars engaged in the strangest conga line ever. Clearly, they're all following the leader, or so they think. Amazing. They just follow the leader. Observe this hypnotic sight. Each caterpillar seems determined to stay directly behind the one in front. But that's the problem. It seems they've accidentally created a loop, each caterpillar blindly following the one ahead. You can't help but wonder how long this loop has been going, or whether they ever figured it out. A few intrepid caterpillars finally break free of the pattern, but the rest remain locked in their parade. Who's going to break the news that they're going absolutely nowhere? This bizarre footage reminds us that nature has a sense of humor. It's both hilarious and strangely mesmerizing. Perhaps there's a lesson here for us humans too. Sometimes we need to step back and make sure we aren't just following the crowd in circles. Let's take a step into the unknown. This next clip features some unsettling footage captured on a security camera. At first glance, it seems like a normal afternoon. A man exits a house, his shadow stretching out behind him in the sunlight. But then, take a closer look, a shadowy figure appears beside the man's shadow seemingly mimicking his movements. It almost resembles a child holding hands and walking alongside him. The man continues on his way, 
completely oblivious to the presence beside him. This is where things get strange. How do we explain this anomaly? Can it be dismissed as a trick of the light? Or is there something more at play? This footage, paired with the video of the unexplained activity in the Mexican hospital, raises some intriguing questions. Do these clips hint at a reality beyond our understanding? Are we witnessing spirits or some other unexplained phenomenon? The truth remains a mystery. This clip serves as a reminder that the unseen can sometimes be unsettling, leaving us with more questions than answers. What do you think? Is there a logical explanation? Or is there more to this story? Watching a tornado tear through cities and fields is scary enough, but imagine being stuck right in its path, wondering how you'd survive. This video might give you some clues. That's not true. Tornado! Fucking tornado! Stay low! Stay low! An adventurous family was on a camping trip in the Canadian forest near Toronto. Little did they know, their peaceful getaway was about to take a wild turn. The video shows them setting up camp, enjoying the tranquility of the woods. Suddenly, the dad's phone pierces the calm with a thunderstorm warning. Environment Canada has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. Mobile coverage area, take cover immediately if threatening. Panic flashes in his eyes as he spots a monstrous tornado churning in the distance. Thinking fast, Dad yells for his kids to get inside the camping hut and take cover. The tornado hits with a fury, the wind howling like a banshee as it wreaks havoc all around them. Huddled inside the hut, the family can only wait it out, their screams muffled by the deafening roar. Finally, when the noise dies down, they cautiously peek outside. The sight that greets them is unbelievable. Every single tree is flattened, the landscape completely transformed. Shaken but unharmed, they eventually make their way back home. The video ending there. This encounter has to be one of the most terrifying things ever. But one question lingers. How did their little hut survive such a monstrous twister? My guess is the base of the hut might be partially underground, anchoring it to the ground. Tornado! Fucking tornado! Stay low! Tornadoes are weird, man. The damage they cause can be unpredictable. On the road, seeing a car coming your way from the opposite lane is pretty straightforward. Just swerve a bit and you're good. But at sea, things get a whole lot trickier. Hey! 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 This intense video captures a near disaster between a tiny fishing boat and a giant cargo ship. The footage shows the massive ship bearing down on the little fishing boat. The fishermen are clearly freaking out, yelling their lungs out at the behemoth to change course. Aye! Aye! But the distance is too great, and there's no way the ship's crew can hear their desperate pleas. The giant ship continues on its path, and just like that, it slams into the fishing boat with a sickening crunch. The fishermen are screaming, but it's too late. Luckily, the waves seem to give the fishing boat a slight nudge, pushing it just enough out of the way to avoid a total wipeout. The giant ship barely even notices the bump, just leaving a nasty scrape on the side of the smaller vessel. Now. I can't help but wonder if the fishing boat had some kind of mechanical issue. Maybe they could have steered away instead of just yelling. Either way, that massive ship coming straight at them must have been the stuff of nightmares for those fishermen. They'll probably be telling that story for years to come. We've all seen videos of people rescuing animals, and it's definitely a good thing. But what if the animal well, isn't exactly cooperating.
This hilarious video doing the rounds on TikTok shows a guy trying to help a sheep with a unique sense of direction. The scene opens with a sheep hopelessly stuck in a large gap in the ground. The guy uses all his might, a strap, and some serious arm strength to finally pull the sheep free. As the sheep gets free, it takes off running, all happy and relieved, right into another gap, just a bit further down the path. Talk about a deja vu moment. The guy helping out can't help but burst into laughter, and that's where the video cuts off. Listen, I know sheep aren't exactly known for their rocket science skills, but falling back into the same hole you just escaped from, that's some next level confusion. Hopefully, the guy managed to snag the sheep again, and maybe this time they could discuss a different escape route. Our brains are amazing at filling in the blanks. We see something unfamiliar, and bam! Our minds are off to the races, trying to make sense of it. This video is a perfect example. So what did you think came bounding out of the jungle? Venom, straight out of the movie. Well, hold on, because things aren't always what they seem. Yup, that wasn't Venom crashing the tourist party, but a white-cheeked spider monkey. A tourist on a forest tour captured this whole thing on camera. He heard some rustling in the bushes, started filming, and out pops this creature looking like it could be Venom's long-lost cousin. But as it gets closer to the camera, you can see it's just a spider monkey with some interesting markings. Those white cheeks definitely played a trick on our brains at first, appearing like eyes on a black body. But white cheeks spider monkeys, as the name suggests, have white fur on their cheeks, along with their forehead and chin. The rest of their fur is typically dark brown or black. Like all spider monkeys, they're known for their long limbs and prehensile tails, which help them swing effortlessly through the trees. The funniest part of the video was when at the very end, the monkey gets close to the camera, and it just casually swats at it. Can you imagine telling everyone you got a friendly tap from Venom? Now that's a story to tell. Have you ever seen something so bizarre that your brain just goes nope? Can't compute? Well, buckle up, because this video is a brain cardio. What the hell is this? Seriously, what in the world is this thing? A woman in Las Vegas, Nevada, captured this footage on the side of the road. In the video, we see a strange creature unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's completely black, with a gooey, slug-like body and a bunch of tentacles wriggling everywhere. It doesn't even have a clear head or tail. It just kind of oozes around using its tentacles to move. It's seriously creepy and unsettling. I did some serious internet sleuthing, but I couldn't find anything even remotely close to this creature. So, the big question. Is this something from another planet, or a deep sea dweller that somehow ended up on dry land? If any of you cryptozoology enthusiasts out there have a clue what this might be, leave a comment and enlighten the rest of us. Hikers, listen up. Leaving your camera unattended on the ground might not be the best idea, especially in grizzly country. You never know when a curious bear might mistake it for a tasty snack. This video Captured in British Columbia by a GoPro left a little too close for comfort shows exactly why. We start with a beautiful shot. A peaceful landscape with trees in the distance. But things get interesting when a massive grizzly bear wanders into the frame. 
The bear casually strolls around, seemingly on the hunt for some lunch. Then, another grizzly joins the scene, batting the GoPro camera with its paw and sending it tumbling. The first bear doesn't seem too impressed at first, continuing its exploration for a minute. But then, curiosity gets the better of it. The bear picks up the camera in its mouth, giving us a fascinating point of view, a glimpse of the world from a grizzly's perspective. The bear carries the camera around for a good six minutes, dropping it, sniffing it, and even giving it a few tentative nibbles. Luckily, the GoPro survives the ordeal. This is some seriously unique footage, a bear's eye view of the wild and a close-up look at those powerful jaws. I bet the hiker who owns this camera will definitely think twice about leaving it unattended next time. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Imagine 30 or 40 years ago if someone told you they saw a headless animal running around. You'd probably think they were crazy, right? Well, times have changed as now we have video evidence just like this one. This mysterious video shot in Japan by an unknown person, comes from an industrial site. The camera pans across some machinery, then zooms in on a railroad track, and that's where things get weird. We see a creature, what appears to be an elk, running across the tracks and into the woods. But here's the creepy thing, it has no head. The elk's body seems to be moving normally, but where its neck should be, there's nothing. So, is this truly a headless elk living its best headless life? Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say no. My guess is this is more of an illusion than anything. Maybe the elk's head is just bent way down, like it's sniffing the ground, creating the illusion of a headless body. It's definitely a possibility. But hey, if that's not the case, then maybe we do have some creepy headless elk running around out there. There's no denying it. Nature can be downright confusing sometimes. But other times, it takes your breath away with its sheer beauty, like this incredible view of the northern lights. Oh my god. Look at that purple. Wow, right? This video, captured on Senja Island in Norway, showcases a mesmerizing display of the Aurora Borealis. We see the camera person opening a shed door, and they're greeted by this breathtaking light show dancing across the night sky. Green, purple. It looks like something out of a fantasy movie. It might seem like magic, but there's actually a scientific explanation. When a solar storm hurls charged particles towards Earth, some get trapped in our planet's magnetic field lines at the poles. These particles collide with gases in the atmosphere, creating the dazzling light show we know as the Northern Lights. Honestly, after seeing this video, I'm tempted to cancel all my plans and book the next flight to Senja. Anyone else feeling that urge to see this natural wonder in person? Have you ever stumbled upon something so unsettling that the urge to grab a flamethrower and incinerate it becomes overwhelming? Well, this video is about to deliver exactly that. What on earth is that? This footage captured by a villager in Thailand, showcases a bizarre gathering in his field. The video reveals a pulsating mass of hundreds of worms writhing together, forming a single grotesque entity. Each individual worm writhes in unison, creating a truly unsettling spectacle. 
Now, hold on a creepy, crawly minute. While the sight might be stomach-churning, these aren't actually worms. They're a large cluster of centipedes. This behavior, known as aggregation, is a common survival tactic for centipedes. They huddle together for protection from predators to conserve moisture in dry environments or to find more suitable living conditions. Environmental changes like heavy rainfall, flooding, or droughts can trigger this mass gathering as their usual habitat becomes disrupted. While the science behind it is fascinating, I can't deny the initial urge to torch the whole thing just to erase the memory. Ever heard the saying, when life throws you lemons, make lemonade? Well, in Thailand, nature just threw a whole lot of fish their way. This video, captured by a local, shows a scene straight out of a fish lover's dream. A Thai beach is teeming with small fish. A literal frenzy where there seems to be more fish than water. Everyone's buzzing with excitement, scooping up as many fish as their buckets can hold. The fish are practically leaping out of the water, creating a chaotic yet exhilarating spectacle. It's a fishy free-for-all, with people practically stepping on them in their haste. But what caused this fishy flood? This phenomenon, known as a fish run, or beaching, can be triggered by environmental factors. Changes in water temperature, oxygen levels, or salinity can prompt fish to seek refuge closer to shore. In this case, it appears to be a natural event, a windfall for the local community who are seizing this unexpected bounty. We've all had that terrifying thought that you're peacefully using the toilet when a snake lunges out and bites you. The stuff of nightmares. Well, believe it or not, this video shows that fear becoming reality. <laughs> this is exactly what my nightmares are made of. The video, captured by a homeowner in Manhattan, shows a truly horrifying scene. A large snake erupts from the toilet bowl its body coiled tightly in a defensive posture. The snake's scales and aggressive stance send shivers down your spine. Thankfully, the homeowner heard the slithering sounds and reacted quickly, avoiding a potential disaster. These slithery creatures can indeed access our pipes through underground sewer systems, making them not only unwelcome guests, but potentially dirty ones too. Let's just say, after watching this, I'm definitely going to check the toilet bowl a few extra times before sitting down. Nature, ever the wondrous mystery box, throws some truly bizarre things our way sometimes. Take these creatures in the next clip, for example. This video captured by a fisherman, showcases two strange creatures gliding through the water. These elongated white forms resemble snakes at first glance, but their slender, fish-like bodies and distinctive dorsal patterns set them apart. If you get a closer look, you can see features like a mouth, making them appear more like elongated fish. I did some digging online to identify these mysterious creatures, and guess what? They might just be white ribbon eels. Some viewers who've seen the video suspect they could be deep sea dwellers. But I'm leaning towards a more common eel species we just don't see very often. What do you think? Mention fish and most people picture harmless little guys sifting through the water. But this next video will definitely change your perspective. Please welcome Baker Matt. What a beast! A group of fishermen on a fishing trip stumbled upon a real monster and decided to capture it on camera. 
this fish is definitely on the larger side. But that's not what's got the fisherman spooked. As the camera zooms in on its mouth, you get a good look at its terrifying teeth. Rows of sharp pointed spikes. These chompers give the fish a ferocious sea monster vibe. Honestly, I can't help but imagine what would happen if you stuck your hand in there. Let's just say it wouldn't come out looking pretty. We've all seen stray dogs, cats, maybe even the occasional bear wandering the streets. But a stray crocodile. Welcome to Maharashtra. This video, captured by a driver in Maharashtra after a heavy rainfall, shows something most people wouldn't expect. A massive crocodile, looking completely at ease, is casually strolling down the street. Cars are parked around it, drivers filming this unbelievable sight. The croc appears to be fully grown, but thankfully it doesn't seem aggressive, and just walks on like it owns the place. After its little walkabout, the croc even decides to take a rest, plopping right down in the middle of the road. Imagine being a pedestrian and seeing this behemoth coming your way. You might think you can outrun it, but trust me, a quick Google search will tell you otherwise. One thing's for sure, India definitely has some unique stray problems. If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. Remember how we all believed in fairies as kids? Well, what if I told you there's a video that might reignite that childhood wonder? Look, why, why do you be eating like, like that? that? Be it! it. Alright, all so, right, so let, let, me, let know. me know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this stay. Let me know. Let me know. Did you catch that? This clip, captured from a live stream, shows something incredibly strange. The streamer is initially filming a tree from afar, with notifications of viewers joining popping up on the screen. Then, they zoom in on a specific knot or hole in the tree trunk. The video ends abruptly, but that's not all. Slowing down and zooming in further on that same spot, you can see a flicker of movement inside the hole. Take an even closer look, is that a tiny person peeking out? It disappears back inside the tree just as quickly. This little figure looks eerily similar to the fairies we've seen in cartoons and online, just without the wings. Some viewers are convinced it's computer-generated imagery, but to me it looks pretty genuine. The texture and quality of the creature seem to match the surroundings perfectly. Now, if this is real, Maybe our childhood dreams of seeing a fairy really aren't so far-fetched after all. Beaches are picture-perfect during the day. A place to soak up the sun, catch some waves, and relax. But at night, things can take a turn for the spooky. This video Captured at a beach at night showcases a truly bizarre sighting. It's nighttime, and everything is shrouded in darkness except for a single light in the distance. As the camera zooms in on the light, a massive humanoid figure emerges from the water. It stands up, seemingly noticing the cameraman, and then starts running towards them. The video cuts out right there, leaving us hanging with this terrifying image. That was creepy. The figure definitely looks unsettling, but something about the light source seems a little off. It could be a hoax, maybe someone in a costume using the light for better visibility. However, even a tiny sliver of doubt is enough to send shivers down your spine. If this were real, let's just say nighttime beach trips would be a thing of the past for me. Ever heard of interdimensional beings? 
those creatures that exist outside our own reality. If you didn't, this person captured a video just for you. Cuando vio eso, Put, se pusieron los bellos como esclavo, tatuaje ahí, corrió todo. Digo, no es algo normal en la casa, porque nunca se ha visto nada. This clip, captured by a news channel, features an interview with a father and son who accidentally recorded something strange. The father explains that his child was filming his back tattoo. As the camera pans to the son's face and then back to the father, a terrifying creature appears in the frame. The creature looks unnatural, a creepy mix of feline and human feature. The father reveals they've been hearing strange noises and footsteps, adding another layer to the mystery. But then he offers a possible explanation. Traditionally, some Ecuadorian families kept small bones from deceased loved ones, believing the spirits would protect their home. The father suggests these Husitos, small bones, might have something to do with the creature. Seems the family leans towards a ghostly explanation rather than aliens. Whatever this thing is, one thing's for sure, it looks out of place in our world. Respecting animal boundaries is crucial, especially when dealing with wild predators. This TikTok video shows exactly why. This clip is a prime example of why you should never mess with wildlife. We see a tourist vehicle with someone dangling a cloth out the window, right next to a leopard. Unsurprisingly, the leopard gets agitated by the teasing. The tourists try to retract the cloth back into the car, but the angered leopard lunges at them. Luckily, they manage to slam the window shut just in time, preventing the leopard from entering. That was a close call. The leopard was clearly fuming, and it could have caused serious harm if it had gotten inside. But here's the thing. The tourists are entirely at fault in this situation. Annoying a wild animal like this is never a good idea, and honestly, they got what they deserved. Have you ever witnessed a duck madness situation? Well, this video is pure quackery. Talk about a traffic jam. This video, captured by a driver, shows something truly bizarre. In the middle of the road, a white car is surrounded by a swirling mass of thousands of ducks. The sheer number of these feathered friends completely blocks the car's path, bringing traffic to a standstill. The driver must be sitting there thinking, what in the world is going on? So why the ducky ceremony around the car? The most likely explanation is that the ducks mistook the white car for a giant ducky leader. They're simply following their oversized brethren, creating a hilarious and slightly chaotic scene. I know it's not the most scientific theory, but hey, it looks like something straight out of a duck cult ritual, right? The debate about alien existence continues to rage on with believers and skeptics locked in a cosmic battle. This video from Brazil might just be the evidence both sides need. This clip, captured by local fishermen in Brazil, showcases a truly bizarre catch. In the video we see a box containing a strange humanoid creature. The lower body appears human-like, but the head is where things get creepy and alien. It has large, exaggerated features, big eyes, prominent ears, and an oversized head. The skin texture seems human, but the facial structure is undeniably alien. The person who captured the creature claims they found it already dead after pulling it in from the water. This raises a ton of questions. What kind of creature is this? Was it an alien? And if so, what was it doing in the ocean? Did it drown? Or was something more sinister at play? The video leaves us with more questions than answers, sending shivers down the spines of believers and skeptics alike. We 
we've witnessed the beautiful, the terrifying, and the compassionate. Now, let's close on a truly bizarre note. <laughs> What is this? It resembles an old man with strange markings, or perhaps ritual makeup. But that's completely wrong. This appears to be a newborn goat, with the strangest face imaginable. Nature, what happened here? I can't even find its mouth. And those eyes, they look painted on, as if it was born without any. If not for this video, describing it wouldn't even come close to the reality. It leaves you wondering, what other unimaginable oddities does Mother Nature have in store? Reddit is a treasure trove of information, offering solutions to hyper-specific problems and heartwarming stories. But it can also be a breeding ground for unsettling posts that leave you chilled to the bone, just like this homeowner's video. Creepy, right. The video hails from a California neighborhood where a homeowner captured something unsettling. It's nighttime, and a heavy, almost monstrous breathing fills the air in the neighborhood. It sounds like something massive, inhaling and exhaling with a chilling rasp. This bone-chilling sound continues for the entire one minute and 45 seconds of the video. Not knowing the source is what makes it truly eerie. Now, there might be a logical explanation, but for the life of me, I can't imagine what or who could be making that horrifying noise. Ask any wildlife photographer or hiker about their worst nightmare, and they'll tell you in a heartbeat. Bears. This video is a chilling testament to why. The footage you just saw was captured by a wildlife photographer attempting to film a brown bear. The video shows the bear already agitated and clearly anxious about the camera. It lumbers up a hill before slowly approaching the camera. Then, in a heart-stopping moment, the bear's walk breaks into a run as it charges towards the cameraman. The cameraman, thankfully, is prepared. He reacts quickly, deploying his bear spray directly at the charging animal. Unfortunately, the chaos of the encounter knocks the camera mounted on a stand to the ground. The rest of the video shows only the ground, devoid of sound or any sign of the cameraman. While the lack of audio after the attack is certainly cause for concern, the fact that the video was uploaded afterwards suggests the cameraman likely escaped unharmed. The ferocity of the attack, however, is undeniable. The raw aggression in the bear's growls is enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. This is a stark reminder of the power and unpredictability of wild animals and the importance of respecting their space. The sky, our natural ceiling, is typically a source of beauty and serenity, dotted with fluffy clouds or painted with vibrant sunsets. But this video from Indonesia captures a truly eerie skyscape. Believe it or not, this isn't a scene from a science fiction film, but reality captured by a local villager in Indonesia. The video shows the sky ablaze in an unsettling red, as if a giant red fluorescent bulb illuminates it. The cameraman pans across the scene, revealing a blood-red sky stretching from horizon to horizon. This otherworldly glow bathes the buildings and ground in an ominous red light. 
the apocalyptic scene is enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. But what caused this nightmarish transformation? The culprit is a haze crisis that choked the entire region back in 2019. Oil palm farmers, opting for expediency over sustainability, resorted to slash and burn techniques to clear the jungle. This environmental disaster ignited massive fires that ravaged the natural habitat. While the video undeniably evokes a sense of impending doom, it serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of human actions on the environment. We may think we've explored most of our land, but the vast oceans remain a mystery. Unfathomable creatures lurk in its depths, just like the one captured in this video. It seems to be some sort of alien creature growing in our, in our, off our dock. It's growing on the wood. It's like a, a gelatin growing over the, the tree branch. This bizarre specimen was filmed by a group of fishermen in Hayden Lake, Idaho. The video captures something unlike anything they, or perhaps anyone, has ever seen before. The creature's texture appears gelatinous, and its form is undeniably strange. As the fishermen zoom in, we see a body composed of a jelly-like substance. Its proportions are unsettling, with oddly shaped arms, a tail, and a feature that can barely be described as a face. There's no doubt this is an aquatic creature, but the mystery deepens. Is it a product of genetic mutation, a denizen of the deep unknown, or something even more outlandish, an alien visitor from another world? The video leaves us with more questions than answers, but one thing's for sure, the strangeness of the ocean depths is truly captivating. If you are enjoying this so far, consider subscribing. It really helps me keep this channel going. Nature is the ultimate mystery box. Sometimes it throws us creatures so bizarre, we can't help but scratch our heads. This video is a prime example. <laughs> This footage was captured by a beachgoer in Canada who stumbled upon something truly strange. From the first glimpse, the creature bears an uncanny resemblance to a human face. Eyes, a nose, and even a mouth. But then things get weird. Its body is circular, covered in tiny hairs, and has the strange cheetah-like texture. As the camera zooms in, we see it contracts to move and there appears to be some kind of liquid building up in its eyes. I did some digging and found that this might be a smooth pufferfish, or a similar species. However, that human-like face throws a wrench in any logical explanation. Could it be a genetic mutation? Or maybe even an alien visitor? Who knows? Do you think an umbrella is enough for a trip outside when it's about to rain? Watch this video and decide for yourself. A coffee shop owner caught this footage of two parked cars taking a beating right outside his window. It's raining alright, but not with the kind of stuff you expect. Forget raindrops or even hail. We're talking massive leaves, garden debris, even what looks like rocks pummeling these cars. It's like a scene straight out of a biblical apocalypse. The entire vehicles get pelted with this bizarre, destructive downpour. Now, don't panic about meteors just yet. This was actually a hailstorm, so severe. It ripped leaves and branches off the trees like they were nothing. There might even be some broken roof tiles mixed in with this icy fury you can actually see the rear window of the black car getting shattered in the first few seconds of the clip. Even if it's just hail, this video makes you seriously reconsider venturing out in rainy weather.
This next mind bender of a video I found on Reddit shows ice breaking on a frozen lake, but not in the way you'd expect. Crazy, right? This video shows a frozen lake with something causing major mayhem under the ice, creating a mini ice volcano. You can actually see what looks like a giant claw ripping through the ice as it moves beneath the surface. Those monstrous appendages just break right through like it's nothing, leaving a trail of broken ice that piles up like a volcano. Some viewers were freaking out. What kind of monster could be doing this with its claws? Or maybe those are some seriously impressive antlers. After digging around in the comments, I found a much more logical explanation. Apparently, it's a cluster of small willow or poplar stems pushing up through cracks in the rocks at the bottom of the lake. There's only a few inches of water under that thin ice, and somehow these little guys managed to cause a major ice eruption. So even though it's not a monster movie come to life, this ice volcano is still pretty darn amazing. Classical music fans, you know the accordion sound. But have you ever heard a ghost play one? Let me tell you, it's not exactly a joyful experience. Seriously, who's playing that? This video comes from a homeowner who was startled by the sound of a harmonium coming from his grandfather's room. The kicker is grandpa had passed away a long time ago and there was no one else in the house. The homeowner grabbed his camera and headed to his grandpa's room where he captured this unsettling scene. The grandfather's harmonium was playing by itself, the bellows slowly expanding and contracting producing an eerie melody. Needless to say, the homeowner was freaked out and confused. There was no logical explanation. It was playing on its own. This whole situation is seriously creepy especially considering the homeowner mentioned his grandpa loved playing the harmonium. Maybe it's his grandpa's spirit back for a late night practice session? Imagine waking up to this nightmare. Water halfway up your window. That's exactly what happened to a homeowner in Hamburg, Germany. <laughs> This intense video comes straight from Hamburg. A homeowner captured their ground floor engulfed by water. The footage shows water raging up to the middle of the window, crashing against the glass like a wild beast. Waves are forming and hitting the window with force. But thankfully, the window seems to be holding strong. While the location isn't confirmed, it looks like a dock building, and that water level at the ground floor is seriously scary. The way the water slams against the window makes you think it could break at any moment, especially if debris gets swept up in the waves. Honestly, I wouldn't be brave enough to stay in that room with water threatening to burst through. Ever heard of the Devil's Eye? It's a spring in China that looks eerily like a human eye from satellite images, both amazing and a little unsettling. These drone and satellite clips capture a truly bizarre spring located in Qinghai, China. The spring itself is surrounded by a stark landscape of red and dark orange sand. In the center, the spring bubbles ferociously, with waves rippling across its surface. The water spewing out contains high levels of sulfur, rendering the surrounding land barren. But the most captivating aspect of the Aiken Spring, as it's called, is its shape. 
From above, it resembles a giant otherworldly eye. This massive spring is constantly active, filling the surrounding area with water. Due to the high sulfur content in the air, the area is off limits to tourists. However, thankfully, these drone and satellite captures allow us to marvel at this unique natural wonder, nature's own eye. Snakes are creepy, no doubt about it. Their slithering movements and surprise attacks are terrifying. But what's even scarier than a regular snake? A two-headed snake. Believe it or not, this isn't some special effect from a movie. This is a real video from Florida, showcasing a truly unique creature. A two-headed kingsnake raised at Ultimate Exotics. It's feeding time in the video, and this two-headed wonder is chowing down on a mouse. Now, the lower half of the snake is all one, but up top, things get interesting. Two fully formed heads each with its own neck, control this fascinating reptile. Despite this genetic anomaly, both heads seem to function perfectly, each taking bites of the mouse independently. It's one body with two mouths, so both those mouse halves are going to end up in the same stomach. Thankfully, these guys are non-venomous, but they can be a little on the aggressive side towards humans. The real mystery for me, though, is how they decide where to go. Which head takes the lead when this slithering marvel wants to move? If you got so far in the video, it means you're a dedicated viewer. Thank you. And if you subscribe and hit the bell button, I promise to keep posting these for you to enjoy. Ever heard of glowing sand and sea? Well, if you haven't, Get ready to be shocked and amazed by this video from a beach. Oh, check out this bioluminescent algae in the sand. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh, that is crazy. <laughs> oh, yes. This video showcases a breathtaking beach phenomenon that looks straight out of a fairy tale. As you watch, you'll see the mesmerizing bluish glow that illuminates the sand with each step and shimmers in the water as surfers and swimmers glide through it. The source of this captivating light show, bioluminescent algae nestled within the sand. These tiny organisms emit flashes of bluish green light when disturbed in their watery habitat. However, a word of caution, while undeniably beautiful, these algae can be harmful if touched. Bioluminescent algae blooms can have severe effects on human health, so it's best to avoid contact with the water. Remember, even the most stunning natural displays can pose risks. Admire the glowing spectacle from a safe distance and avoid swimming in waters containing algal bloom. We often associate miracles with unexplainable events, but sometimes what seems like magic has a scientific explanation. Take this video captured by police in Andhra Pradesh, India. This video was captured by the local Andhra Pradesh police in India showcasing an extraordinary scene in the heart of the forest. In the footage, we witness a group of police officers gathered around a tree while one officer, using a tender coconut knife, scrapes at the trunk. As he removes a chunk of the tree, to everyone's amazement, water starts gushing out. The water continues to flow from the trunk as if there's a hidden spring within the tree. This phenomenon appears miraculous but there's a fascinating explanation behind it. Such occurrences are often caused by an underground water stream running beneath the tree. Due to pressure differences, the water ascends through the trunk and when it's opened, it flows out in a spectacular display. 
No matter the scientific reason behind it, the sight is undeniably mesmerizing. Imagine being deep in the Russian wilderness when night falls and you realize you're lost. That's the nightmare scenario a hiker found himself in, and what happened next will send shivers down your spine. Take a good look. This video, captured by the hiker himself, shows a dense forest at night. But that's not all. Peer through the bushes. Do you see that? A pair of glowing eyes stare directly at the camera, reflecting the flash in an unnerving gaze. The feeling of being watched in the vast darkness is enough to shake you up. But the horror doesn't stop there. As the camera pans to the side, another pair of eyes emerges from the shadows. The video cuts short, leaving us with a lingering sense of dread. What were those eyes? Their height suggests a large animal, maybe a wildcat. Yet the shape is strangely humanoid. This encounter has sparked a firestorm of theories. Could it be a trick of the light, a nocturnal predator, or something entirely unknown? What do you think lurks in the darkness of this Russian forest? Nessie on Vacation The Loch Ness Monster, a legendary creature from Scottish folklore, might not be confined to its namesake lake after all. This recent video from Albania has sparked debate online. The footage appears to capture a massive creature with a long neck emerging from a lake. The resemblance to classic Loch Ness monster photos is uncanny. After briefly breaking the surface, the mysterious creature dips back under, leaving viewers to speculate. Some believe it's a giant catfish, but have you ever seen a catfish with such an elongated neck? To me, it looks uncannily like Nessie, but what could a legendary Scottish monster be doing in an Albanian lake? Did Nessie decide to take a prehistoric vacation? Or is there something even more mysterious lurking in the depths? One thing's for sure, this video reignites the legend of the Loch Ness monster and opens the door to exciting possibilities. The world throws us curveballs, but it also throws us breathtaking beauty like this oral abalone shell discovered by a hiker. Isn't it mesmerizing? This hiker stumbled upon this gem while just starting their hike. In the video, we see them reach into the water and pull out something that catches the light like a disco ball. It's a shell, but unlike any you've seen before. As the hiker flips it over, the true magic unfolds. The underside is a mesmerizing canvas of vibrant colors, like a stained glass window come to life. This captivating find is an oral abalone shell. Unlike its flatter, spiral-shaped cousins with little holes, the oral abalone boasts a smooth, glassy underside that shimmers with an almost magical iridescence. These shells are also called ear shells, or sea ears, because of their resemblance to our own ears. But the true treasure lies within. The interior of the oral abalone gleams with a dazzling mother of pearl sheen, coveted for its beauty as much as the abalone itself. This mesmerizing quality has made these shells prized possessions, adorning jewelry and intricate artwork for centuries. So, the next time you're out exploring, keep your eyes peeled. You never know what hidden wonders you might uncover.
Nature's got its traps, from tiny carnivorous plants that snap shut on insects to, well, giant plants that can snag something much bigger, sheep. People think I'm joking when I call brambles carnivorous plants, but before you sneer, just look at the evidence. Hey, darling. You're a bit stuck, aren't you? If no one rescued this lamb, it would be dead in a couple of days. A farmer stumbled upon a horrifying sight during his daily rounds. One of his sheep was caught in a bizarre struggle. The sheep was firmly entangled, thrashing against a prickly bush. The farmer wasted no time pulling out a knife to free the distressed animal from the bramble's grasp. Now the farmer suspected something strange. Were these brambles turning carnivorous? Convinced of a plant conspiracy, the farmer decided to demonstrate. He approached another sheep grazing nearby. As the unsuspecting sheep reached for some berries, it became ensnared by the bramble's thorns. The farmer quickly intervened, freeing the sheep once again. This incident certainly raises an eyebrow. While brambles aren't actively hunting prey, their sharp thorns can be a serious threat. Imagine taking a stroll through the woods and some plant shackling you for life there. As technology races forward, the line between alien activity and secret government projects blurs. This video from the US is a prime example. I don't know man, that's cool. There's like three of them, look, four of them. The footage captured by an apartment resident, shows a bizarre object streaking across the sky. This cone-shaped entity leaves a thick, smoky trail in its wake, and a strange, whitish field appears to surround it. As the cameraman zooms in, a second, similar object can be seen, flying in the opposite direction. But the strangeness doesn't end there. Moments later, a third object streaks across the sky this time with an eerie orange glow before vanishing without a trace. Unsurprisingly, speculation is running wild. Enthusiasts are calling it extraterrestrial activity, while others suspect a secret government missile test or a new satellite launch. Whatever it was, it certainly leaves a shroud of mystery. Ever wondered how to draw a perfect circle. Nature might have the answer, as shown in this next video. <laughs> this clip, hailing from Russia, captures a strange phenomenon on a frozen lake. We see a vast expanse of ice, interrupted by a perfectly circular cutout. The sheer size and flawless form of this circle are baffling. It appears to be swimming slowly across the surface. The cameraman and onlookers are understandably bewildered. It looks as if a giant cookie cutter scooped out this section of ice with surgical precision. Viewers are buzzing with theories. Aliens, elaborate pranks, you name it. Of course, if it is man-made, then kudos to the mastermind behind it. But if not, well, maybe aliens do have a thing for perfect shapes. For more captivating content like this, click here. Thank you for tuning in.